Hi, okay, let's see how quickly we can install and get Data Hub WebView up and running on this computer. What I have running already is the top server from Software Toolbox. This is running a simulation server that will give us some data we can use in our WebView pages. I downloaded the Cogent Data Hub installation archive from www.cogentdatahub.com and I'll go ahead and install that. I'll take the default settings. One thing to note is once the installation is finished there's no need to reboot this computer. This is actually proven to be quite important to some of our customers installing the Data Hub on a live process server that can't be interrupted. I'll just finish the installation process and then we're done. And I'll go ahead and click on the Cogent Data Hub icon. You see we're running with a one hour timeout in demo mode. If I double click or right click on this icon in the toolbar, I'll bring up our properties page and I'll configure my OPC properties to read from the top server. I'll create a domain within the data hub called top1 to handle that data and I will limit the update rate to 250 milliseconds. So I click apply yeah, you see we're running. If we view our data, here's our top one domain and under it we have our simulation data, ramp, random and sign. Now let's go over and configure WebView. All we really need to do is refresh the list of domains and tell WebView to include the uh, top one domain that we just added. So if I apply those changes, I can launch Data Hub WebView from this button or directly from the browser as we'll see in a moment. Now we're running a local host version of the Data Hub, which basically means we're logging into Data Hub WebView on the computer that we're running on. Now uh, Cogent Data Hub ships with a set of uh, permissions for the username admin and password admin that allow us to log in and see Data Hub WebView without having to go through the process of creating new users. When we launch Data Hub WebView, you see we're put into edit mode and we're given a, a default start screen. I'm going to create my own screen, reset the background. I'm going to add a trend chart. I'll quickly go through and I'll bind data for this trend to sign data within top server. Okay. And just so we can see our data, I'm going to reset the scale minus 60 to 60. And here's our sign data coming in from the top server. I'll also add a gauge. I'm going to bind, oops, bind that to a ramp data point. And I'm going to make the labels a little bigger so we can read them. And finally I'll put a progress bar on the page and I will bind the progress bar one of the random points and give it a minus 100 to 100. So there we are. Now I'll save my page. There's no publishing of pages around the network to different user computers. All the pages are stored on the Data Hub computer. And this is what our page looks like in run mode. Now if I come back over to my properties page just going to restart the properties page so that we reread the list of pages. I'm going to tell Data Hub WebView to start in run mode and load my test. Click apply. Now, if I come over to another computer, this is a Windows XP computer running on the same network. If I open my web browser, I have a link to the Cogent Data Hub WebView system running on the
the computer we were just on. And if I use my admin admin login again, you'll see we go across the network and we load the my test data page and there's our data. So there we go. We installed Data Hub, we configured Data Hub WebView with a page, and we navigated to that page across the network, starting a browser from a computer that has no Data Hub software installed, just viewing it straight in our browser.